Welcome to Firebase release notes for March. And we have six topics today, so let's dig in right away. We just hosted Google's annual summit for game developers, and these were some of my top takeaways about Firebase. In Unity, uncaught exceptions that don't completely crash your game are considered non-fatal events, even if they keep your C-sharp scripts from running. And this makes it difficult to prioritize such problems. Well, you can now set up your game to report such errors as fatal crashes to the Crashlytics SDK, so that they contribute to crash-free user stats, to velocity alerts, and so that you can more easily prioritize them. Crashlytics now also supports the simplification of application not responding or ANR events in apps that use the Android NDK, including Unity games compiled with IL to CPP. Our backend then processes them into more readable stack traces in the Crashlytics console. AppCheck reduces abuse by blocking requests to your Firebase project that come from a tampered version of your game or from an illegitimate device. And support for AppCheck is coming to the Firebase SDKs for C++ and Unity soon, so that you can use it to reduce the risk of leaderboard hacking, illegitimate item unlocks, and other forms of cheating. Those are my top takeaways, but be sure to check the links below for more from the Google for Game Developer Summit. App distribution makes it easy to share pre-release versions of your app with trusted testers. And it now allows those testers on Android to leave feedback for you right in the app itself. In-app feedback streamlines the tester workflow and helps you get higher quality bug reports. AppDistro now also allows you to link to individual releases from the Firebase CLI, the Gradle plugin, and the Fastlane plugin. These links then help you manage binaries and ensure that everyone has the right release. Having Firestore data in a data center close to your users makes their asset access faster and may be required to meet with local regulations around data compliance. That's why we keep making Firestore available in more and more data centers around the world. The most recent additions are Melbourne, known as Australia Southeast 2, and Amsterdam, known as Europe West 4, which was just added this month. Keep checking the release notes for updates or the full list of locations in our documentation that are linked below. In our latest authentication SDK for Flutter developers, we've improved error handling in two places. First, we now handle errors that happen when you've enabled the new protection against email enumeration attacks that I mentioned last month. And second, we now also handle errors when you have a custom before signing cloud function that blocks the user from signing in. So upgrade today for the latest features. When I asked Bart what Terraform is, it said, Google Terraform is an infrastructure as code tool that can automate GCP infrastructure and make it more manageable. Sure, thanks, Bart. Well, Firebase is now beginning to support Terraform too, meaning that you can automate and standardize creating Firebase projects with specific resources and services that meet your needs. This takes just two steps. First, you create a custom.tf file that specifies what resources you want to provision. And then second, you run that script using the gcloud command line tool. There is much more to say about Firebase and Terraform, so get started today with the extensive documentation that I linked. And finally, and this is a big one, Firestore now supports OR conditions in queries. This is a much requested feature, and it just landed in most of our SDKs and in the documentation. By adding AND and OR clauses, you can build complex queries like this one. Now, this release is so fresh that I haven't had a chance to work with it myself yet. For now, it's important to know that Firestore prevents a query from becoming too slow by converting it to a so-called disjunctive normal form, and then limiting that to 30 clauses. Expect more updates on this disjunctive normal form in the future. But for now, go ahead, upgrade your SDK and add OR conditions to your Firestore queries. Those were all the updates we have time for today. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel below. Now, my name is Frank Ropeuf, and I'll see you on a future episode of Firebase Release Notes.